with a channel that runs 750 meters long, 12 centimeters deep, 15 centimeters wide, and contains nearly 140 drainage outlets. Machu Picchu is one of the most complex yet beautiful structures with an irrigation system built by the early civilizations of the New World era. Located in the Andes Mountains around the Cusco region of Peru, Machu Picchu served its purpose as a religious site and home to some of the elites within the Incan Empire. Machu Picchu was discovered on July 24, 1911 by Hiram Bingham, an American historian and explorer. According to some research done, it took a nearly 5,000 people to build it, but it only accommodated 1,000. Even with these facts, researchers only found between 250 bones. Rainfall was the main source of the water that Machu Picchu had, and thanks to their amazing ability to build such complex structures with an irrigation system, the fresh water was able to reach the center of the town, but most importantly, their agricultural fields. Machu Picchu was built on a slope. Without the proper building methods, or more importantly, without this efficient irrigation system, Machu Picchu would have slid off the mountain. Machu Picchu was a city with about 140 buildings. Most of these buildings were home to the elites, some were temples, and they even had what seems like a jail. The Incas believed in many gods, and they used this structure as a sacred place. The emperor lived there since they believed, plant they believed that he had a special connection with the gods. The construction of this building took lots of planning. The architects needed to make everything perfect to avoid any problems. Seeing how the irrigation system works from outside of Machu Picchu is a hard thing because it is hidden within all over Machu Picchu. For instance, for every 100 meters that the runoff water travels throughout the channel, it descends 10 meters. This so-called formula allowed gravity to maintain a flow of 300 liters of water per minute. Machu Picchu is a structure built with stones on top of stones. The Incas did not use any mortar. Instead, they used the wooden edge technique. The constructors would somehow drill a hole in the granite and put wet wooden wedges between the rocks. They waited till it froze and this caused fissures. And that's how they, we think they cut the rocks. Yet this does not explain the smoothness of them. These rocks are so close together that one cannot even put a knife in between them. With today's technology, it would be very complex to build something like Machu Picchu. Cutting granite today is a very difficult process, yet the Incas managed to do it back then. Today, we are nowhere near of finding out how these amazing structures were built since there are no records showing or indicating how the Incas made measurements, calculations, or even how they came up with such a brilliant plan. All they left us was an amazing city with no story behind it, leaving it as one of the seven wonders of the world.